So till now, we have had, had a look at some questions which fall under three basic experiments. So rolling an unbiased dice once, rolling two unbiased dice simultaneously, and picking a ball at random out of a bag of multiple balls. So these are experiments that you'll commonly come across when studying probability. So our next question is again using one of these experiments. Well, it's a very interesting question. It's a little different question. Let's have a look at this question now. So the question here tells us that we have a box containing 12 different balls out of which some X balls are black in color. So we do not know how many balls are black in color. We, we are just saying that there are some X balls which are black in color. Now, one ball is drawn at random from this box. So we have to calculate the probability that the ball that we draw out of the box is a black ball. So let's, let's draw the PCC here and try to analyze this question. Now the experiment that we are performing here is drawing a ball out of a, of a bag at random, right? So this is something that we have had a look at before also. So the experiment that we are performing here is draw one ball randomly. Now the sample space of this particular experiment is now a little tricky, right? Because we don't know how many balls are there which are black in color and how many balls are there which are white in color. So the sample space contains of some black balls. Because however many black balls are there, we can still draw one of them, right? So there will be X black balls in the sample space, right? Because we have, we have said that there are X balls which are black. And the other balls in the sample space will be white in color. So we don't know how much this will also be. But we can say that since the total number of balls in the bag, has, bag is 12, so this value will be 12 minus X. Right. So the sample space in total contains 12 different balls, right? as we have already been told. So now the favorable event here is us drawing a black ball when we draw one ball at random. Now we know that there are X balls in the bag which are black in color. So the favorable event for us here will be drawing a black ball. So any one of those X balls, if we draw, it's a favorable event. So this is again going to be a set which contains only black balls. Now we don't know how many black balls. There's some X, X amount of black balls. So now the number of favorable events that we have here is all the different elementary events which are present in the set of favorable events. So we can say that the number of black balls, that will be the number of cases where we draw a black ball in the favorable event category will be a total of X, right? Because we are saying that there are X balls in the bag. So there are X ways in which we can draw a black ball out of the bag. Now on to the number of total events. So the number of total events can be we can draw any of the 112 balls, which are any one of the 12 balls which are present in the bag. So there are 12 different balls that we can draw. We do not know how many of them are black or how many of them are white, but there are 12 total balls that we can draw. So the number of total events that we have are 12. So this, this is the total number of elements which are present in the sample space as well. So now to calculate the probability, we know that probability is the ratio between these two values. So the number of favorable events and the number of total events. So the probability that we get of drawing a black ball is going to be x by 12. So we do not yet know the value of x. But we can say that since there are x number of favorable events and 12 total events are there, the probability is going to be x by 12 of drawing a black ball. So now let's keep this value aside and let's look at the second part of this question. So the second part of the question tells us that if six more black balls are added to the same box, the probability of drawing a black ball
and the sample space now is changed a little. So the sample space is changed a little because now we have added six more balls which are black in color. So the total balls that are now present in the bag are 12 plus 6 which is 18 balls. So the sample space is now going to contain 18 different elements since we can draw any one of these balls. So all these balls independently drawn bring, bring up the complete sample space. So if we look at this we have some black balls and we have some white balls. Now we do not know how many black balls we have or how many white balls we have. But we do know is that the number of black balls was x before. And the question tells us that it has added 6 more black balls. So the number of black balls now in the bag should be x plus 6. So, but the number of white balls will remain the same, right? The number of white balls will not change. So the number of white balls should now be 12 minus x plus 6. Sorry, 18 minus x plus 6. Because the total number of balls now are 18. So this again comes down to 12 minus x. Since the number of white balls does not change. So this is our sample space. Now the favorable event that we have here is so we have been asked to calculate the probability of drawing a black ball. So the favorable event now is again drawing of a black ball. So we know that we have, since we have added six more black balls, the total number of black balls that we have are x plus six. So since the favorable event is drawing of a black ball, the event set for this particular event to happen will contain only the drawing of black balls. So the white balls will not be the favorable case for this particular event, right? So our favorable event set is the set of all the black balls in the bag, which is x plus 6 number of black balls. So now the number of favorable events that we have are the number of all elementary events in the favorable event, which is as we calculated before x plus 6. So the number of favorable events that is drawing of a black ball now is x plus 6 and the number of total events is changed now right because the number of total events has now become 18 right because there were 12 balls before and we have added 6 more balls. So this is a total of 18 balls out of which we can draw one ball. So there are total of 18 different cases of us getting a different ball. So the number of total events become 18. So now you, you all know how to calculate the probability, right? We can just take the ratio of these two values and we'll get the probability of drawing a black ball now. So if we calculate that, we get x plus 6 upon 18. Why? Because x plus 6 is the number of favorable events now and the number of total events is 18. So this is the probability of drawing a black ball now. Now the question tells us that the probability of drawing a black ball now is double of what it was before. So we, after solving the previous part of the question, we figured out that the probability of drawing a black ball at that time was x by 12. So what it is telling us now is that the probability that we have right now is double of that value. So if we try to put that in equation, we'll get that this particular probability of getting a black ball now is two times the probability of getting a black ball before. So if we solve this equation, we, we can see that we get, so this goes six times, this goes three times. So if we solve this, we get 3x. So I have simplified this here and this six divides this 18 by 3 and I have taken this 3 here. So 3x is equal to x plus 6. So this equation, if I try to solve this equation, this boils down to this simple equation. Now if I calculate this, it gives me that x, 2x is equal to 6. So I take this x this side and I subtract 
3x and x gives me 2x. So 2x is equal to 6. So if I solve this, I get x is equal to 6 by 2, which is 3. So on solving this equation, I figure out that x is equal to 3. So the number of balls, black balls, which were initially there in the box was x, right? As the question tells us, a box contains 12 balls out of which x balls are black in color. So now we have figured out that initially we had three balls in the box, which were black in color. And there were nine balls, which were white in color. So, so this is an, one more very different kind of problem that we can use by solving the concepts that we have studied, studied in probability.